let's say you're using a Raspberry Pi. Now this is the Pi 4. Now this thing obviously has a little more tolerance and the USB ports are also capable of providing a lot more because this is a USB 3. You're not limited to 500 milliamps uh, per port. You can get a lot more, I believe 1.1 1 .1 ampere is the bare minimum you can get from one port. So obviously using the two ports, you can push it a little and power all four segments, though not completely 2.56 amperes, but uh, you can still make do. And because this is a 7219 IC based uh, system, it's fairly popular. You can get plenty of libraries to power this display as it is in its uh, four segment rather four module state. In case you are planning on uh, running this or powering this using an Arduino board, stick to one or at max two modules. You can separate them easily. If you're powering it using the Raspberry Pi, then you can actually power all four. Though uh, for any of these applications, I would always suggest that you isolate the power supply separately. That way you don't have to worry about connecting four, five, six or all eight modules because uh, eight is the standard configuration that most of these libraries uh, support. So that's something you can easily run without making modifications of your own. Now that's it for uh, the eight by eight bit uh, FC 16 dot matrix display in a one by four configuration. This thing is compatible with uh, all sorts of microcontrollers because well, that's how the world works. Thank you for watching. Yeah. <laughs>